Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to rotate the screen on Lenovo Yoga Book 9. This screen, ha uh, this laptop has a gyroscope so it should um, typically rotate automatically and if you just rotate it like that, uh, the screen should get rotated but if for any reason you either want to get that rotated um, manually or it just doesn't work then I'm gonna show you a few um, things that you can do so the first one is just going to settings I'm gonna move that settings window to this screen and then go to system display and here scroll down until you can find rotation lock and just select the screen that you want to change it on you can see I have this option grayed out but I'm gonna fix it in a moment um, I'm gonna work with it in a moment but before that um, first just you can change it here you can also manually change the rotation right here in display orientation for each of the screens you need to do that separately but if that doesn't work or if the rotation lock is grayed out then for or if there's no rotation lock at all then at first you should get to a browser and in the browser um, we're gonna search for our laptop's model so let's find out the model at the back of the laptop it should be written somewhere here um, in my case it's the yoga book 9 uh, one free IRU8 so it's in the top line uh, it just says model name so um, we will need to type that in um, just type in the um, Lenovo Phaeton um, Lenovo then your modal drivers and get to Lenovo support now in the Lenovo support you should find um, it'll be um, the motherboard devices and in motherboard motherboard devices first off you should find uh, the Intel sensor so I'm gonna find the Intel integrated sensor hub driver this is for your um, gyroscope sensor so uh, reveal the menu and click on download after it gets downloaded go to the downloads in your browser and open the file just click on yes when it asks you to give administrator privileges then here you need to um, accept the agreement click on next then click on install and click on next and click on install now finish then there will also be another driver um, I honestly recommend getting all the drivers that are here uh, they will for sure help you with most of the things but um, let's get to the monitor driver this is also pretty important and it will, will be installed in the same way as the previous one so I don't need to show you that then uh, the serial IO you can also get that um, it's best to get all of them uh, the display enhance uh, the enhancement will also be great um, dispatcher I don't think it's needed um, just get everything that you can the HID event filter driver will also be helpful the chipset and everything then go back and go to display and video graphics and here you should also get both of these drivers that are here or if you have a different different model then the amount of drivers here may be a bit different so make sure to get um, get the ones that are needed most probably all of them um, in mouse and trackpad I don't think you need any of these but um, feel free to download them as well may, they may help but in a moment I'm gonna show you something else uh, then as I go to I think optional no sorry uh, let's get to the main driver list all updates then find um, the software and utilities and here uh, we should be able to find the smart display application for Windows uh, but this is 
I think for Windows 10, it says here. So, um, let's see if I can find uh, the one for Windows 11. I can't, but um, you just need to um, at the end get the Smart Displays app and this app uh, will display something like this. And here, uh, you probably shouldn't change the layout. I wouldn't recommend changing the layout, uh, but mm, let me just turn the brightness down a bit. Mm. If after rotating your screen, only one monitor rotates, uh, so if I rotate my laptop and only monitor one gets rotated, then click on this rotation button on monitor two and that should rotate your monitor too. And this is the thing that helped me. Helped me. So um, I had both monitors in the vertical mode at that time and I could go back to the horizontal mode automatically and then from then on um, I'm able to just simply rotate my screen all the time. If it still didn't work with all the drivers, try getting even more drivers or just simply um, or just simply go back to the settings and review the settings again with the display one, the rotation lock and display two rotation lock or um, even after nothing, if still something's uh, working improperly, you should go back to the, um, let me just turn the brightness down up. Um, you should go back, uh, go to the control panel. So I'm gonna open that on that display because I don't have my keyboard charged. Um, just sh search for control panel. Then in the control panel, go to programs uninstall a program and find the uh, smart displays if they are here or if not then um, try just getting to the smart displays here and um, yeah I think I can't really uninstall it so this will be sort of a problem but you can try identifying or detecting displays again uh, or I think that I think by now it should be working. And if it isn't, then you may need to reset your laptop. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.